don't miss me anymore. <laughs> I saw that coming. Mandy Moo roll. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This is Brittany and Amanda Tiger at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Mandy, that was too cute. She's like, okay, that's all you get. I'm leaving. Hi, Joe. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Rochelle. This is Amanda enjoying her month long stay in our two and a half acre vacation rotation. And she's like, that's all you get. Well, that was enough. That was a perfect way to come back. <laughs> First cat I've seen on property and she showed me her belly. Hi, Shauna. Good morning, Deb. Hi, Kimberly. I just got done picking up uh, Pocus from Gail. Gail was foster mom slash auntie Gail to Pocus while I was gone. And the first thing I did entering property today was stop over and pick her up and get her set up in my office. She's still a little sniffly. I was really hoping she was going to kick that. So I'm actually on my way up front to get our nebulizer and I'm going to see if that's going to help with her congestion at all. Hi Jessica, good morning. And for any of you that don't know, Pocus is one of our rehab squirrels. Good morning, Beth. I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas, enjoyed their holiday time, whatever it is that you did this year. Good morning, Heather. I was looking for Aria, but Aria, bless her little heart, she has every single enclosure and all of Outback. So it goes all the way down there and it goes all the way up here so she's like having her own staycation but i did not see her she's got like one two three four five six seven eight nine nine dens she could be in so i don't know <laughs> i tried <laughs> but i got to see a mandy moo belly this baby girl turns 25 this week so just like last year hi. so just like last year many of our cats celebrate their birthdays on January 1st of whatever year um, we were either given that information or had to guesstimate um, based on like their health and teeth and just the stuff we were told about them when you rescue cats. Very few people keep any kind of real records and even if they did, they don't hand them over. So we don't um, always have a lot of information on these cats. So we do our best and our vets um, do their best to kind of guesstimate age. So like over half of the sanctuary celebrates a birthday this coming week. <laughs> so what I did last year is since there's so many of them, we're going to celebrate them each separately on a different day, but we're going to start oldest to youngest for the January 1st birthdays. So I'll be making a post almost daily <laughs> on our Facebook page and Instagram telling you guys whose birthday we're celebrating and how old they are. And there's Miss Sapphire, but she's, she is ready for breakfast. You can see her on her camera there. So I know they, the feeders just now came out, so we'll see some, some people out feeding. Like I said, I'm just working my way up front to get the nebulizer. So there's Gina and Dylan feeding Jasmine. Good morning. <laughs> and Kali already has her food. Yes, Kimberly. Um, Amanda is the oldest cat on property. Hi, Kali, babe. Oh, I missed you, honey. I missed you. Good morning, Debbie. Thank you very much, Lane, for the donation. So, Miss Kali is going to get cozy. She is just in her feeding lockout. 
I just drove around the corner where all of her enclosures are. This is her safe space where she can come have breakfast. And they uh, think this is a very happy space because this is where the food shows up. So she has a huge piece of tiger red. And then she has a carnivore diet that we call mush. Kind of looks like hamburger. Hi, babe. I'm sorry. I know I'm chatting too much. She's like, I gotta eat in peace. So again, this is just Cully Tiger having breakfast in her feeding lockout, but she has an open door right behind her. She can walk out of there anytime she wants. Oh, what was that? This is the first time I've been on property since I left last week, so <laughs> I'm very excited to be seeing all of all of anyone who's going to come out and say hi. I have a ton of work to do though, so this is not going to be a very long live. I got a lot of stuff to do at my desk today, and it's my rehab day and my evening meds day. Hi, sir. <laughs> this is Max. Maxie Moo. Oh, okay, I hear a cart. <laughs> I'm going to chase that cart. That cart has food on it. <laughs> so handsome. So handsome. All right, you finished breakfast, lady. Thanks to everybody answering questions. I'm just kind of like scout in the area to see who I see and Maxie Moo, are you gonna chase my cart now too? He's like, any cart. I'll chase any cart. <laughs> he is so handsome. Simba is over in his feeding lockout. You can see he leaves his tail hanging out of his open door behind him. Let's go this way. We'll take the long way. I'm heading up to the recovery hospital. That's my end game. And then I'll head out and take care of Hocus. Probably take care of Angel later once it warms up. Don't see a Kimba right now. Everybody's still feeding some of the elusive cats. There's a Manny. There's a Manny on a Monday. I don't have the food, babe. I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> this is Manny. I'm not your feeder today. Sorry. I'll probably be the next person that pulls up. Gotta go see my boys. Go see Jinx. We'll go see Cyrus. <laughs> Does anybody see him yet? <gasps> Hi, bud. I missed you. Hi, Jinx. I see you. I see you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi. <laughs> Jinx means business.
Hi. Hi, Bob. You can see his spots really well on his side here. It's because Jinx is a black leopard. You see my stabilizer on his side, too. It's very sunny over here. Hi. Hi, I missed you. I did. I did. When you go on vacation, you know, it's always great the first few days, then you start missing the animals. And I'm like, I'd stay here forever if I had my cat and my squirrel and Jinx and Smalls and Cyrus and <laughs> it's just send them all down. That's not food, that's a tree. You're so goofy. You're very goofy. You're looking pretty trim, buddy. Usually you've got like more of a Buddha belly. Yeah, when the cats get older, they even, you know, our house cats do that too. They get that saggy belly. He looks, you've been doing crunches? If as playful as he's been lately, there's a good chance. Hey, good morning, Lee. Thank you, Miriam, for the donation. Appreciate that. Well, Mandy, he's not really eating them. Eating them would mean he's like taking off a chunk and swallowing it, but he purposely makes those ridiculous faces as he spits all of it back out. So he's just showing off. He's like, you didn't bring me food? Watch this, I'm gonna destroy this. Oh my very goodness. Oh my very goodness. Get all four feet on it. That was something. He's got to keep a really close eye though because he can't be silly and playful when the feeders show up. He's going to be real serious. Thank you very much, Doris. <laughs> I want to zoom in, but I know he's just going to run and move in two seconds. Yeah. sort of feeling like deja vu. It wasn't my last live I did right before I left where Amanda showed her belly and Jinx played like this? Huh? You are so goofy. I love you, sir. I miss you a lot. Yeah. I did. I did. Tell you what, Jinx will make you work on your videoing skills. Stabilizer is hard to keep up with. You can never keep up with him or Smalls when she gets her zoomies. Whoa! <laughs> uh, oh, there's Nikita roaring.
she telling you to quiet down? You are so silly. <laughs> I'm gonna be worn out before breakfast gets here. Loretta, yes, he has been neutered. He's like, don't talk about that day. He went in for an exam. He has a couple small, like kind of fatty masses, like on his side that the keepers kept documenting. And then he also needed some major dental work, um, which is why I always cringe when I watch him chew on his trees. Um, and when he went in for that procedure, he was neutered. Uh, he doesn't share the enclosure with anybody, but it's been proven that um, it can help prevent future health issues that could arise. Um, so he was neutered, but we don't do any breeding here. And if it's for health concerns, if they live alone, um, they, they'll be fixed. And definitely if they share space with another. Jessica, I have never, I spend a ton of time with Jinx. I have never heard him, he's gonna show you how far away he can walk from me now. Never heard him vocalize. I've heard a couple faint, like, grumbly growls out of him, and I've definitely seen him hiss, um, but he doesn't, like, call out the way, like, Armani used to, or the way that Manny does occasionally. I know I didn't give you very much Manny time, so since he's up here. And then we'll walk down to Cyrus. Show all the most handsome boys. Hi. Hi, handsome. up there and I cannot read the comments. There's too much glare on the camera. <laughs> Can't even tell if he's in focus. And I'm not getting any closer. I'm not getting any closer than this. Where are those feeders? Nope, don't jump from there. No, sir. That's up too high. You gotta go the other way. was him thinking that was the perfect opportunity to jump on my head. Huh? Good thing I'm out here. Crazy boy. <laughs> yeah. Crazy boy. Oh my. That was so terrifying. Very, very terrifying. Very scary. I'm sure you're next. it'd be too cold for mosquitoes but did you just do it again but I've got one chasing me around 
Yeah, it's in the mid 50s. I know we're supposed to be getting back up to where it's like in the close to the 80s and it's only the low in like the 70s, which is really gonna throw my allergies for a loop, but <laughs> cats really, really enjoy these cooler mornings. They're usually a lot more feisty and playful. All right, my arm's falling asleep. All right, let's go down and see Cyrus. Thank you, Alexandra. I really appreciate that. All of your donations goes 100% to the cats. So we are a nonprofit. We're an accredited sanctuary. We don't buy, sell, trade, breed, touch, or allow any kind of public contact. boy. The trillest cat here. Come to think of it, if they're not to feed Manny yet, they haven't fed Nikki yet either, which is why she's yelling at everyone. <laughs> we buddy up to feed now, and um, so that means the two big cat route feeders um, go together. So we basically, it's like having one giant feeding route with two people. So it can take a little bit longer to get back here. <gasps> there he is. Hi, sir. Hi. Hi, I missed you. This, yeah, this is Cyrus. Hi, my goodness. Oh my very goodness, this is Cyrus. He's a caracal. Yeah. That's why I said he's the trillist. Yeah. My goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I sure did miss that sound. Nobody on the planet can duplicate that sound. It is just perfectly Cyrus. Perfectly Cyrus. Yeah, I know for heaven's sakes. For heaven's sakes. <laughs> yeah. I know, buddy. And those chin rubbins. He's my favorite example of a cat that will just rub his chin and his feet and want to chew on stuff and point his butt at stuff and all of that is his way of marking territory. Yeah. You're the best. You're the best. I'm glad you don't have any mats going on right now. Yeah. Tail's got a ton of personality. I missed you, bud. <laughs> My cutie. So these guys are actually really amazing hunters and um, he's very scary. If you've ever seen the videos where he's had to go into the hospital for an exam or a vaccination or the few times he's been in a transport cage to be moved around, he can be very, very scary. Um, he's got, I mean, his canines alone, of course he's missing one. He's only got three. He came in with dental damage um, from the cattery he was rescued from. But canines on these small cats can be several inches long. I mean, that is crazy. 
Not to mention the, the power and strength. I mean, Cyrus is not an operant cat for a lot of people because he is notorious from grabbing the stick away from you and he will not give it back. He like lays on top of it and protects it. And I mean, you can see his canine actually sticks out of his mouth, like when he rubs his chin like that. So these guys are definitely not pets. I know he's really sweet and really cute and he's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, those ears are amazing, but he deserved to have been in the wild, not in somebody's house pumping out kittens for the illegal pet trades. And unfortunately he was um, declawed before he arrived here. So he can't even use natural instincts like that for clawing. So that usually makes cats more likely to bite. And so we just, we find it disrespectful for people to be touching these wild animals. They wouldn't allow it in the wild. So, you know, putting them in a cage or in your house or in your backyard, like just, just as super disrespectful for how amazing they are. And I've never pet Cyrus, except for when he was in the hospital sedated for procedure. I had to touch that ear, but we still have a pretty deep bond. And I just think it's crazy for people to say you can't bond with an animal without touching them. Like, it's not true. Yeah, caracals can swap birds out of the sky. Those ears help them keep track of prey under the ground and then they can ambush them when they come up out of their, their hole. So they are pretty incredible animals. He'd be native to Africa. Same thing with African servals. I mean, that makes them need to be pretty darn fierce because they, you know, they have to compete alongside so many other major predators, so many huge animals. So they're small and crafty. Yeah. All right, sir. We're gonna keep going as we work our way up front, okay? Yeah. All right, next person you see I know is gonna have breakfast, all right? Yeah, I think we're just running a little behind today. I think meds took a little longer than normal. All right, sir. Love you. See you later. <laughs> he's like, drop the food in here, please. So you can see he's easily able to walk in and out of his feeding lockout. Can't see anything over here. Very, very bright. All right, I'm gonna get back on the cart and just kind of do a little drive through up to the front. I've got to get started on that with the squirrels. Since we've been closed to the public since March 16th, you know, back at the point where we were doing guided educational tours. Those were three o'clock tours. So the entire daily agenda was a lot more uh, like time sensitive. You know, meds needed to be done at a certain time so that feeding could be done, so that cleaning and double checking could be done. Food prep would have to be done. And then the three o'clock tour. And then after that, it would be a project and then closing chores. And now we can be a little more lenient with the exception of the time change. So the fact that it does get darker earlier makes it a little more imperative that we get things done in a timely manner, but we're a little less rushed. Hi, Hutch. Hi, sir. What you doing? Ow. Hi, Bob. Where are you going? Are you going to this side or this side? Come here, Hutch. Come here. Are you stalking? Hi, Bob. So this is Hutch. Hutch is an African serval. You're drooling. 
Are you still waiting on breakfast, you? We might be short on some keepers as well with holidays. We're either inundated with keepers or that's the year everyone's out of town or taking the day off or whatever, so you just never know. What you doing? So with Hutch, you can see his tail is kind of curly. It's not as extreme as Cricket, but you can see his little back legs, his little knees are kind of twisted up a little bit. That typically happens because of poor nutrition. You know, uh, people that want these kinds of cats as pets think that if they bottle raise and hand feed, you know, he's just gonna eat grass now, <laughs> that it will help bond them to the cat. But what the cat really needed was to be raised by mom with mother's milk, and then they'd get all the vitamins and nutrients that they would need. And unfortunately, they get a lot of health issues, um, and then a lot of people stick them on regular cat food, like domestic cat food. And it just causes a ton of long-term health issues, so Hutch is no exception to that. That is the reason why Hutch doesn't go out into the 22,000 square foot funcation enclosure, and that is because his knees are basically so deteriorated. There's nothing. We had a specialist look at his x-rays to see if they could maybe do a knee replacement like we did with Mickey Cougar or something like that. Um, but there's like literally nothing there uh, for them to be able to repair. So we just are trying to keep him comfortable and calm. We don't give him anything crazy to leap off of or... Hi, small girl. Where'd you run off to? Hi. Hi, sweet lady. This is Small's Bobcat. You've been hanging out over here a lot. This is new fun area. Chewing something out of her paw. What you doing? Smalls as a bobcat. Hi, pretty. Hi. Hi. Are you purring? I missed you. Yeah, I missed you. I did. Have you gotten your zoomies yet today? Oh, thanks, Jane, for the donation. You got donation! <laughs> I know, honey. I'm not going to come over. I've got to, I got to head up front still. So this is like a drive-by hang. It's a drive-by hang. Where are you going? How'd your Christmas tree fare? How'd your Christmas tree do? Steph K decorated her Christmas tree last week. And I'm wondering if it survived. Let's go see. Oh, it's been knocked over. So at some point she tackled that thing. <laughs> and all of the ornaments are on the bottom side. <laughs> That's too funny. Um, I saw people asking about Pharaoh. I don't know if I'll be able to spot him. Oh, there's Jamie right now. So Jamie's out feeding him. She just closed his door. He probably left some leftovers. He's not enjoying the cold very much, so. He's probably right over next to her. I just couldn't see him. Let's see if there's a beach boy. There's a beach boy. Hi! See Beecher got two Christmas trees and it's so cute because he likes to sit up on top of that. Oh, 
he's chewing on something behind his den. Well, we might be out of cats. All these cats have had breakfast, which means they are snoozing. Oh my goodness. You're right, Noor. Thank you very much for the donations, everybody. It's a heck of a welcome back <laughs> for my first live back. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate all of our moderators helping um, educate everybody. Oh, I was hoping. So you can see Tut's little Santa's workshop is still actually fully intact. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Let's go see if we have a duchess or a Priya. We started with tigers, let's end with some tigers. There's a Priya, there's a duchess. Yeah, that was pretty shocking to find out. I found out a couple days later because I had tried to unplug while we were gone. And hi Dutch. You just never know, life is so short. You just never ever know. And the world we live in is just so crazy. So this is Duchess. And if I zoom back out, you'll see Priya strolling around in the back. My heart really goes out to Andy and his, well, his family and friends and all of you guys that know and interact with him. For me, he was always a, a really like pleasant surprise. Like I'd get a random message from him and it was always something really funny or just something where he just fully loved these cats. I know all of you guys do. So it's like complete honor to get to bring these kinds of lives into your, into your lives. <laughs> right next to the Veterans Expressway and so sometimes if there's an accident on the freeway or something that's a lot of chuffing So Duchess has two sections. She has a roof section and an open air section. Her open air section has a big water bowl down there, but in order to safely clean it and refill it, we have to um, shift her over and lock her out of it. So that's why she's there. So for anyone asking, Andy was a online supporter and uh, really heavily involved in the lives and the Facebook group. down here and see if we can get some Priya time. Oh, she's gonna follow all the way down there. Well, I will head all the way down there because that's where I'm trying to go anyway. Hi, Miss Priya. Miss Priya. Well, I do hope that all of you guys had a wonderful holiday season and that everyone was safe. I know there was also that really terrifying incident in Nashville. My goodness, like, it's like, go figure. I try to, uh, I try to unplug <laughs> for a few days and like all these crazy things happen. So Priya is making sure she got every last drop. And I really, really appreciate all of these donations. That's a great way we're approaching the end of the year. And, you know, one of my most significant um, job responsibilities is to, you know, help generate funds for these cats. We're a nonprofit, so 100% of your donations goes to the cats. You can also sponsor um, any of them at bigcatrescue.biz. 
like I'm gonna go get some more exercise so thank you guys I'm gonna go tend to all of our rehab animals and I will see you guys again soon I appreciate all of you have a great week everybody